The second part is how to run an A-B test, but not for thumbnails, instead for titles, descriptions, stuff like that. This I feel is very important because right now we are using just these generic illustrious thumbnails saying illustrious Hiccup did this, illustrious Pluto did that. And I'm worried these thumbnails are going to be no good because if those players specifically aren't the viewer's favorite players in illustrious, then they're not going to be choosing to watch those videos as soon as they see the name. So basically the goal on YouTube is just get people to click. Because once they've already clicked, the chances of them watching the video is so much higher just because they've already clicked on it. So even if say somebody doesn't really like watching Zuki and Evo, once they've already clicked, the chances of them finishing the video are so much bigger than if they were to see Zuki and Evo in the title, but they don't actually like watching them. So they just scroll right past it. I don't think these titles are completely useless, but I think that they only fit in certain situations. I don't want to use them in every single video like this. So what we're going to do is you go again to the TubeBuddy website. Once you have access, you click a B test right here, create a B test instead of the last one where we did thumbnails. Uh, let's say it's this video right here. We're going to click this one. These tests are a little bit more finicky. They're not as uh, accurate as thumbnails because when you change titles, when you change descriptions, your video gets removed from YouTube and it needs to get reinserted into the algorithm. That's why you should never change a title on a video that's doing pretty good. Again, run until click through rate is statistically significant. Always choose that option. So you click continue. It'll give you the option to test the thumbnail because you can test everything at once, but we sh we're never going to do that. That's a bad idea. We're only going to test one thing at a time. So thumbnails or tags or titles or description. Realistically, just thumbnails and titles. Tags and description don't really matter unless you're trying to get your videos found in the search, which is important for things like settings videos and stuff like that. But for normal gameplays, you want to hit recommended, which is why we need to test titles. Titles and thumbnails are the most important thing. So again, you click continue unless we're testing tags, which most likely we aren't. But if we are, this is where you would change the new tags and the old tags. So here is where you change the title. So let's say I got to watch the video, find a good. So with this video, after watching a bit, I decided on going with illustrious aimbot in intense champion arena. Boom. Then another thing that we want to test in, in a separate AB test someday is uh, trying titles this with and without this. So it would be just this on, on uh, the original title. And then the test would be with that because I don't know if that's affecting the titles at all. It shouldn't, but it might. And that's why it's important you test things like this. Right now with these arena games, I feel like uh, using the word intense a lot, using the word champion, high points, anything that tells you it's elite, high level gameplay is really good at getting people to click. Especially with most having like 16,000 points or something, yeah. So then at this point, you press continue again. We're not going to mess with description. Remember, we only mess with one thing at a time. Every A-B test, just one section at a time. Otherwise, you're not going to know what section is the one that's increasing your click through rate. So then right here, I'll just tell you what's going to happen. You click yes, start the test. And in seven days, you will have your answer. I will leave this test running. Did I say seven days? I meant more like two to three days on my channel. It's two to three days. I don't know. I guess it depends on the views and stuff like that. So that is how you run an AB test for titles or description or anything that's not a thumbnail.